My name is Richard Palmeiter. I'm at the University of Washington. I am studied neurobiology, but I'm in a biochemistry department. So I've had many research interests over the years. And the last 15 years or so, it's been in the area of neurobiology. And most recently, it's in dissecting neural circuits. We're interested in a neural circuit that relays aversive signals to the brain. This could be f anything from, oh, I ate too much, I wish I hadn't done that, to, oh, I've got food poisoning or something very traumatic, I've got a shock or a strong burn or something like that. But there are many kinds of aversive signals that are relayed through hardwired neural circuits. And those are the circuits that we're trying to decode. <laughs> There are many different kinds of aversive signals, and we've discovered that they all activate a particular neuronal subtype that is identified by a gene that they express. And the problem is that you and I can tell the difference between food poisoning and pain, but all these neurons become activated by both. So one possibility is that they're it's not one population, it's really multiple populations, some of which are activated by pain, some of which are activated by visceral signals, and that's basically what we want to dissect. And the, the Inscopics methodology allows you to in, visualize individual neurons, and so you, in the simplest model, pain induces this subset of neurons, and a visceral malaise induces a completely distinct set of neurons. Information coming from the periphery enters the brain through very hardwired neural circuits. And I think the more you know about the circuits, as well as know about the, all the molecules that are expressed in individual neurons within the circuits, that gives you potential avenues for therapeutic intervention. For example, if you know the receptors on the neurons that are involved in pain, perhaps you can manipulate those receptors and reduce pain. <laughs>